Hi and welcome. This is a quick demo of a rock generator, uh, rock generator 2. It's based on a tutorial, uh, it's based off on Houdini Simon. You can check him out, check him out on YouTube. Also his art station. Um, let's dive into this. So uh, this is a procedural rock generator. Um, you can turn on proxy mesh and this will actually be your foundation. Um, you can play around with the seed. The seed is um, hooked up on the point replicator for the seed. Put in dollar f so when you scrub through the timeline um, it will randomize the seed also um, i forgot to mention for this tool to work you need to install labs um, you will find it under here shelves and then uh, side effects labs You need to update update the tool set. So let us uh, play around with the base settings, the few parameters to randomize uh, scale. So let's say we we like this shape. So we can turn off proxy and it will generate uh, the game res. So you can see this is a uh, fairly low poly. Um, we're about 15,000 polys, which is okay if you want to use this for your game. Intentionally uh, made this tutorial actually to um, use this in your game. Uh, you can see the UVs are messed up because this is actually from the previous mesh that I've generated. So what you need to do is go into the maps baker and select uh, the maps that you want to render out or bake out and hit render. So this will save out your uh, maps to your project project folder. And now, uh, if we turn on the quick material, uh, we can actually see that this is our game res uh, rock. So obviously, in the game engine, it will look a bit different, but. This is what what the base concept is of you know taking a high res mesh and trying to bake in some details. So this asset is available on ArtStation. The link will be in the video description. Feel free to support me there. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye.